Hi friends, here I am back with the one more composition and today also we will be doing with the teardrop stroke only. So this is for the beginners level only. So I am loading my brush with green and yellow. Starting with from the corner and keep your brush tilted this way so that you work only the top few bristles of your brush to get this thin curvy line this way just I'm making few more lines this way for the stem just start from the outer edge and blend it with the line in the center this way okay then I will be taking the same green and yellow and I will paint a few leaves here we have learnt the leaf already I have made a video on it I'm making the same, painting the same leaf here. You just make a leaf this way. Lift your brush. Either you turn your page upside down and make the other way, other side of the leaf, or you just keep your brush straight and come the same way down this way. I like this way because it gives more of a natural look to your leaves. We will go along and paint few leaves here. Here you see I go from down to up. Loading your brush every time and one in the center this way coming down. coming down and making the stem in the center just go along making the sleeves you see there are this is this both way of making the leaf if you find the edges edges are not very um, satisfactory you can go again and make one more time on that and just come down this way I made quite a few leaves here. Okay. Now I'll just wash my brush and pick pink and uh, light blue on my brush. The color combination is totally up to you. It's not that you have to imitate the colors. Keeping the pink side out, I'll make this teardrop strokes. You see how you can use the strokes to make beautiful um, one stroke compositions just putting the strokes in a different way like in our previous video we made a triple layered teardrop flower and here we are with this okay just go and here I'm keeping the blue side out this way I'll take, um, I'll just wipe my brush and I'll take blue and red this time. 
Blue Deal brush. You can make it as much as colorful you want, keeping the blue side out. See, this is up to your creativity. This is the decorative painting. <coughs> you can you can paint this on your wall. You can paint this kind of uh, um, simple compositions in your handmade greeting cards, also on fabric. So it's up to you. Just putting the things together. Now here in the center, I'm making this way. Going like this. See? And finally here, I'll change these sides the red side out and the last one here yeah. just correct it okay now I'll just load my brush again with yellow and green and we are doing a different stroke this time green and yellow We will be doing few fillers, maybe here in the center, just see this way, filling in the gaps, starting one from here, this way, I will keep the yellow side out and I will come down, pulling your brush all the way, just roughly don't follow any rule just play with your brush sooner or later you will get this mature look you see this way here you already have a line i'll just fill it this way and making one here You see what I am doing is just simply load your brush and make a line this way and just pull your brush down and you get a beautiful fun like strokes here okay so what else we can do to add to it I'm adding few of the sliding leaves this way maybe keeping the yellow side out I'll add a few leaves this way make the stem here you go add few leaves and stem so just with the teardrop strokes you got a wonderful composition and that's it you can practice this and let me know choose a beautiful combination of colors and use few colors to different colors to make this teardrop strokes and leaves funds all together and try to make this composition and let me know how it was